Hey everybody, and Tony here with my review of the Patricia Roll production of Richard Strauss's Elektra, which had its premiere last night at the Staatsoper Schere Theater. As I mentioned before in my review of the Mets live stream of this particular production, this has got to be one of my most favorite productions of all time because it manages to use its claustrophobic, creepy atmosphere in such a way that was very mesmerizing and extremely captivating. Not to mention all the characters, whether they be the major characters or the minor characters, all had a very substantial role to play and were a lot more fleshed out in terms of depth and dimension and just who they are as people. With that said, let's cut to the chase of what I thought about the singers starting off with Evelyn Herlitzius who sung our title heroine. And out of all the performances I have seen her in so far, this has got to be her finest hour yet. She embodied this character with such abandon and she really let her voice go out on a bang, hitting all the high notes and she held nothing back. She was a total lioness on stage. She really knew how to move throughout the stage with such animalistic instinct and she was just a total thrill to watch and hear in this iconic heroine. Say what you will about her singing, but I will still defend Madame Herlitzios and say that she sang everything well with such abandon, ferocity, and fierceness that I was just taken aback at just how grand the singer really was at inhabiting this role. And she used her skills as a dancer to such a great effect as once upon a time, she started out with her career and training as a dancer before heading off to the singer's route. And a little bit of a fanboy moment here. I even met Madame Herlitzius during the reception and I even had a little chat with her and asked for her autograph and what do you know? I have it right here in my hands. And she was a very nice and warm person. So to Madame Herlitzius, lots of love to you and all the future roles to come. And it was a major pleasure meeting you in person. And congrats to you in this wonderful first night. And may you have a lot more awesome Electras to come. So overall, she was definitely a very, very great performer in this iconic role as she really knew how to inhabit this role with dimension, ferocity, and her voice just rang out of the theater and she sang the absolute hell out of this role. She did exceptionally and she was just so thrilling in this role that... I could not get my eyes off of her every time she moved around the stage. Singing her sister, Chrysotemis, was Adrian Pejanka, and she also sang the absolute hell out of this role as well. She continues to have that fine, lyric dramatic soprano instrument which she sang with such abandon, and what more can you expect from Madame Pejanka? She looked absolutely gorgeous on stage. She really knew how to use her gorgeous figure and she just inhabited this role with a great sense of abandon and great sense of thrills that I was also as captivated. And every time she and Madame Herlizio sang together, it was just like pure heaven. They sounded like archangels and they managed to make the best out of their chemistry as the sister act and they just did it exceptionally well. Singing their mother, Clytemnestra, was the outstanding Valtraud Maya and she knew how to inhabit this role with such grandeur and such a regal manner that I was totally immersed in her character. I was totally immersed with everything she had to inhabit, whether it be her plights and whether it had to be her guilt and everything she had to offer. And her voice continued to ring out the theater with such abandon and with such grace. And her chemistry with Evelyn Herlitzius as her daughter, Elektra, was just so believable, so palpable 
that I just couldn't help but feel immersed in what these two had to offer. Michael Folle was a firm Orest, as he really knew how to make use of his grand, dramatic baritone voice, and he just sang the absolute hell out of this role as well. And he just had a very strong and sturdy stage presence, but also backed up by a lot of mystery and a lot of ambiguity to really make this character stand out. Franz Matsura, even though he is currently 92 years old, was in absolute fine form as the old tutor of Orest. Then we even had the pleasure of having one of the greatest Votans of all time, Donald McIntyre, sing the role of the old servant, and his voice was still as focused as ever. And we even have Egist, sung by Stefan Rugama. And while his voice was absolutely fine as he really knew how to act this role with such abandon, I'm not totally a fan of him in this character, as I would have loved to have a lot more of a Heldentenwa quality in his voice, but I still have to give him credit in terms of his musicianship and in terms of his overall theatricality. He was able to make Egist a very strong and sturdy gentleman on stage, but somewhat of a bit of an outsider as he was not so sure of what he's going to get himself into, nor was he even there for Tritamnestra with this entire crazy crap that was happening at the House of Atreus. He was still a very solid performer, despite me not really being a fan of this voice in this role in general, but I still have to give him credit in terms of everything he had to embody with this thankless part. And then we go to Florian Hoffmann as the young servant, as he gives him a punky nature, even though his voice kind of thinned out, but it's the opening night, and I'm sure that he is going to get better in the next few performances. We had the treat of having the grand Cheryl Studer, a singer that I really, really admire in a lot of roles, and one that I basically grew up with basically when I was 10 years old, but didn't start listening to her when I was 13, when she sang Der Hölle Rache and Dich Teure Halle in one of the CDs that I bought during my Christmas break in California, and she basically sang the dual roles of the overseer and the confidante. And even though parts of her voice were past its prime, there was still something that was completely gorgeous and completely powerful that still made me immersed in this character. And she really knew how to act this role with such abandon. And she really knew how to really let herself in this character. And she was just a total animal on stage. She really knew how to act these roles with such abandon and such ferocity and also such dignity that I was completely immersed in everything she had to offer. And then we go to the maids with Bonita Hemans' rock-solid, sturdy contralto voice as the first maid, Marina Prudenskaya's sleek, gorgeous, yet totally sexy, dramatic mezzo voice as both the second maid and the train bearer, Katarina Kamaloha's sleek, lyric dramatic mezzo voice as the third maid, Anna Zamwil's sparkling, scintillating, gorgeous, lyric soprano voice as the fourth maid, and then we have the absolute treat of Roberta Alexander, a very grand lyrico spinto soprano that I absolutely adore, sing the role of the fifth maid with such pure abandon and such a purity that she managed to really inhabit this role wonderfully. So what more can I say about the singing? It was just absolutely outstanding in terms of everyone giving their best and everyone just giving their all in terms of these characters. And the conducting done by Herr Daniel Barenboim was absolutely well done. What more can you say about this gentleman? He really knew how to play the nuances of the text wonderfully 
and he was just an absolute pro at what he did with this opera. So overall, everything came together wonderfully and exceptionally in this production of one of my most favorite operas of all time. And if you want to know how I felt during the reception, I was just completely gobsmacked. It was like I entered the Hall of the Gods and I was just so thrilled to see every single singer that I was just taken aback, you know? It was just a major thrill seeing all of these wonderful people just be who they are. And I was just at the presence of them and just was just so excited just to see these grand people because they did so exceptionally. And I also would love to give a major shout out to Luisa Hagedeza Bernburg, who was also one of the actresses on stage. And she was also one of my dear acting colleagues from a former acting school. And I wanna give the shout out to her. I hope you enjoyed this review and I wish you a lot of love and happiness and a lot of great things to come in your career. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in later for my movie review of Sausage Party, which will be shown at the Sinistar Movie Theaters in Potsdamer Platz. So until then, have a great day, everybody.